How did I go from making $52,000 a year as a high school teacher with a master's degree in 2017 to making $1.3 million in 2022? A lot of what we're taught as kids is to do well in school, go off to college, get a degree, do what you love and make a great living doing so. Honestly, guys, that's what I felt like I was doing, becoming a high school teacher and coach. The downside of school is it really doesn't educate you on personal finance. And to be honest with you, I felt like I was going to live a very nice and cush lifestyle, not making a ton of money, but I just felt like I was going to be just fine being a high school teacher and coach. However, after eight years of school, we're talking four to six years part-time and full-time in the Marine Corps, completing my bachelor's degree in mathematics, and then going off and finishing my master's degree in education, I began my first year teaching. I was making about $52,000 a year, but because of my apartment, my car, my insurance, and all the other living expenses that I had, I was essentially living paycheck to paycheck. It wasn't long after I began teaching that I realized it just wasn't enough for me, not necessarily just the money, but I felt like there was so much more that I could accomplish in my life and I was just really falling flat. So that's actually when I started doing some side hustle. I was also fortunate enough to attend a few real estate investment meetups and realized that my VA loan that I had earned the right to use through serving in the Marine Corps was one of the biggest ways and easiest ways, I guess you could say, to start in real estate investing. And that's where it all began for me. Now, to be quite frank with you guys, I spent about 12 months educating myself as much as I could before I even got my real estate license and technically bought my first property here in Dallas. But it wasn't until five or six months after that that I actually got my first check from closing my first real estate transaction. And even after I did get that first commission check, honestly, all it did was pay back the five to six months of debt that I had incurred since I got my license. So it really wasn't until month seven or eight that my eyes were really opened up to the idea of pursuing real estate full time. That was the end of 2017 and I actually completed five deals in the month of December. That month of December paid me about $25,000. Now that's before any and all of my expenses. So maybe took home maybe 17 to $20,000. But even after taxes, 17 to $20,000 was still about four, five, maybe six months of teaching. And that's when I realized maybe this could be something special. So I bet you're wondering how was I able to make about 50 or $52,000 plus about 30K in real estate commissions to fast forward to 2022 where I made $1.3 million. Now, before I detail all three of my main sources of income, I do want to start off by saying that multiple streams of income is a great way to start. If you can find multiple sources of income and eventually income that is earned passively, that's when your income starts to grow exponentially. So the first stream of income, which is a little shy of just about half of the total income that I generated in 2022 is real estate commissions. Now I sold about 26 million as far as real estate transactions in 2022. And really when it comes to most realtors, commissions are going to be their main, if not their only source of income. Now there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to individuals getting their real estate license, becoming a realtor, and honestly realizing how much effort and work it takes to be successful. I wake up every single day, have the same kind of morning routine. I put in work consistently day in and day out. And the funny thing with real estate is the work that you're putting in now, you're not gonna get paid tomorrow for. It's not like, hey, if I go you know, towel a bathroom today, I should get paid for the work that I did. But a majority of what real estate agents are doing now is gonna pay them out in the next 60 to 90 days. So really when it comes to being self-employed, especially being a realtor yourself, you need to have a lot of drive, not just motivation, but you need a ton of discipline to be able to get up, get going, consistently put in work day in, day out. Because if you do take a week off, if you do take two weeks off, I guarantee you're gonna see the lack of production because of the lack of time that you put in, in that 60 to 90 days in the future. Another thing that comes with being self-employed, especially being a real estate agent, as you may know, if you work a normal nine to five, when's the time that you're likely going to want to look at a new home or potentially go out and view properties with your realtor? It's likely evenings or weekends. Now those evenings or weekends are often times that, you know, the normal individual has off. So that normal nine to five that a realtor may not be showing properties, they're actually consistently working, you know, following up, creating social media posts, making video content. And then they're still working the evenings and weekends because that's when the normal clientele that works a traditional job needs to be able to see homes. So there really isn't any set hours. You can really work as much or as little as you want. I can tell you the first couple of years of being a licensed real estate agent, I worked every waking moment that I possibly could because I knew all the time and effort that I was putting in then 
would lead me to making 1.3 million in 2022. Now, when it comes to commissions, $1.3 million in commissions alone would honestly mean I would have to double the sales that I did in 2022, which I can't even fathom because 2022 was my best year. Now, there are some folks that are in other states that have a much higher price point. And when it comes to real estate commissions, you're paid solely on a percentage of the final sales price. So if you do live in a luxury or a more high end area, you could certainly get close to, if not north of that million dollars in total commissions. But as far as commissions alone, in 2022, I worked my butt off and made about $650,000 in GCI or gross commission income. Now, there were a lot of lessons learned in 2022. One of the biggest things that I actually took from 2022 after about five years in the business was to try to build as much income as I could passively. I found a source of income that at this point is growing exponentially and about 95% of it is passive income. Now that stream of income may not be familiar for folks that are outside the realm of real estate. I honestly didn't even know that this stream of income existed prior to getting my real estate license. And it's a stream of income that is not necessarily easy to build. I've just been fortunate enough with all the hard work and the networking that I've done over the five or six years being licensed, that it's allowed me to grow my income in 2022. About 20% of 1.3 million was earned off of revenue share, which is a stream of income, like I said, about 95% passive that I earned through my real estate brokerage by attracting agents to the company. And those agents that join the company, they're gonna pay a real estate split. That split, they're gonna be paying at any large brokerage. However, since we are a virtual brokerage, our brokerage has an opportunity to pay that back to the agents that have helped grow the company. Now, the beauty with RevShare is it's really you earning income off of other people paying their split. Now, how do those other people pay a split? They sell a home. When they sell a home, they're going to be paying real brokerage or my real estate brokerage a certain amount of split. And as I mentioned before, you're going to be paying this regardless where you go to be able to leverage the brokerage and actually potentially earn some of it back is a huge opportunity. Now, because I've not been shy of going to real estate conferences and going to different meetups and meeting as many agents as I can, I've had a very good run with attracting agents, showing them the culture and the opportunity here at Real Brokerage. I've roughly brought in about 30 to 40 agents, but the way that it's structured is those 30 to 40 agents can actually attract agents as well. And because those agents come in underneath them, I can collect off of them to the tune of about five tiers. Also, another reason why I've been able to build this stream of income so fast is the fact that I got in early. I joined Real Brokerage in October of 2020, and I started with about 30 or 40 agents total. That means individuals that I have brought in as well as folks that they have brought in. And I've been able to run that almost to 400 total agents that I'm able to collect on just in March of 2022. As opposed to real estate commissions, where I actually have to go to a listing appointment, show up at someone's house and walk them through the house and see what we're going to do to get it sold. Old, or maybe you like on Monday where I have a scheduled appointment for about four to six showings for a new buyer. I'm going to have to drive about 45 minutes to an hour to the first showing, show them about four to six homes and then drive home. In total, it's going to take me maybe three to five hours, depending on how quick we can view the homes. Those three to five hours though, are not something I can do remotely. Now, when it comes to earning income through revenue share, as I mentioned before, none of the work is really done by me selling homes. It's by folks that I bring in when they sell a home. Now, obviously there's additional work that needs to be done, such as attending real estate conferences, meeting with people, jumping on Zoom calls. That is probably one of the best things that I do is I jump on Zoom calls. I try to educate people on real brokerage. I jump on other calls that my agents that I brought in are trying to attract agents and then just really build the culture through different kind of collaborative Zoom calls. And most of that, like I said, about 95% of that can be done passively or remote. Initially, when I joined real brokerage, I mentioned before, I only had about 30 to 40 people at the gate with me. I think my first month of rev share was only a thousand dollars. It then went up to four thousand dollars the next month. Fast forward two and a half years, now I'm at 400 people. I've about 10x what I initially came in with. Instead of making a thousand or four thousand dollars a month, I've actually grown that to the tune of my best month so far is likely going to be paid out in April, and I'm closing in on about a 40 or 45 thousand dollar income month just from revenue share alone here in 2023. Now, revenue share may be mostly passive, but I'm not gonna be able to earn any of that income if all of those agents leave the company. So being able to show agents the opportunity, build a culture with them, and also retain those agents, that's what's going to continue to build this income for me. 
Now, the great news is there are other sources of passive income. Revenue share is more or less just income I'm generating every single month. But there are other ways to earn income passive, such as rental properties. And that's my third main source of income, my entire rental portfolio. It's valued at about $5 million. As far as income generated in 2022, about a quarter of it is from my real estate portfolio. Now, if you've watched my most recent video though, I don't make a ton of net profit from my rental portfolio. As opposed to revenue share, where that's income that I'm generating every single month to maybe pay off my bills, pay off my travel expenses, any kind of business expenses, my rental portfolio is really not used to pay off anything currently speaking. My rental portfolio is more concerned about 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road when I eventually pay off my mortgages, and I'm I'm going to be sitting on a huge portfolio that cash flows essentially enough at that point for really anyone to retire off of. Now, a lot of what I talk about on this real estate channel is about real estate investing. I do want to say that real estate investing, as far as the direction I'm headed with building a rental portfolio, is not a get rich quick scheme. It's not something that you're going to get in today and be able to retire tomorrow in. Now, there are real estate investors out there that hit the gold mine and they are able to accomplish a lot in a short amount of time. But being only 33 years old, my intention, especially with about 75% of my income being generated in other sources of income, that 25% when it comes to my rental portfolio is gonna continue to grow and it's gonna grow and it's gonna grow as really any rental portfolio would and my net worth continues to grow because my tenants are paying down my mortgage, but I'm not concerned and I don't need that income now to live off of. Like I said, there were a ton of lessons that I learned in 2022 that moving forward into 2023, I'm so anxious and excited to be able to apply because I can tell you, it's not always about earned income. Truly, I don't care if I make $1.3 million a year again in 2023. I would prefer to make less than a million, but still wind up being even more profitable than I did in 2022, making 1.3. Now, if I had any advice to give folks out there that are maybe trying to get into real estate, just trying to build a side hustle, maybe trying to find additional streams of income, you're going to have to sacrifice. Sacrifice maybe your weekends, your evenings, your fun out with your friends. I'll be honest with you, the first three years of real estate, I had no social life. My entire social life was real estate. And because of that sacrifice, I'm getting to the point where if I wanted to retire in my mid thirties or by the time I'm 40, it's something that I absolutely can do. Now with the drive and motivation that I have and just the discipline that I have in myself every single day, I don't think I'm ever gonna truly stop working. But the sacrifice that I made early on is truly what led me to making that 1.3 million in 2022. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help and stay tuned for the next video.